Hello, we're here in beautiful Kaohsiung, Taiwan, and let me explain what I'm eating first. Okay, this is this is iced milk. Okay, that's shaved and it's covered with with red beans. Mmm, how Delicious. Now I'm going to explain where we are and what we're doing. All right, we're standing at a. Uh, an old plantation that used to be for sugar cane. Somewhere around here, there's a railroad that you can see that's over there, where they had cars that carried the sugar cane back and forth to the main train depot. And now the, this place is covered with like historical style buildings and um, traditional food stalls. We've got a temple over here where they're burning <laughs> incense. And next to the temple, there's a nice little place where they have um, some fried foods and a little place to sit. Uh, this is a big parking lot that's usually used when it's not Chinese New Year for parking. Over here, this building is, I don't know what it was before, long ago, but now it's used to have a very, very famous ice cream restaurant, and it's quite popular. Also, up here, you can see Alice, and this is the new uh, local um, subway station. It's an elevated track. Um, there's lots and lots of stops, and the reason why this place is so popular is because it's conveniently located with the MRT. Now, wandering this way, this is a, a section where they have a lot of uh, tents with little booths and performance artists like this guy. This guy is like a living statue, and what he does is he waits for people to give him coins, and then if they give him coins, he will move. So let's see if anybody gives him a coin. <laughs> now, just recently, I saw it over here in this place they have different performing artists. There was a young man over here doing a balancing act where he was standing on these little circular uh, metal rings and it was uh, pretty amazing. So over here we've got some juice, we've got some fresh fruit, there are people who are selling uh, chopsticks, all kinds of locally produced medicine, locally produced snacks, all kinds of uh, specialty items. This lady over here wants to sell chopsticks and they're quite pretty. This guy was making barbecue and some special noodles. Okay, we've got all these little games. We've got barbecue. Okay, we've got little pachinko style games where you roll balls. Over here we've got little uh, rides for little kids. People throwing basketballs. Over here on the corner they've got a book fair area. And they've got lots and lots of books. Coming back around, we've got Taiwan scissors, and I guess they make garden supplies and stuff. Hello! Cranberry juice, locally made, of course. We have the ever-present and ever-popular juice bins, fried and dried foods. This is an interesting little area over here where you can do a DIY. You choose one of these designs, like this little race car here, and then when you peel off some of these plastic pieces, you can dip it in the colored sand that they have over here. And when you dip it in the colored sand, it sticks to the design. And you can see a couple people doing it over here. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so DIY. Nice. What's next? We've got some iced tea, we've got popcorn, we've got all kinds of jewelry, locally made, beautiful stuff. Little dogs, little mirrors. Not sure what that is. This is some special kind of metal. No, thank you. And this is the big gateway that they put up here. This is all one big balloon. And it's pumped by an air pump that's over here. Obviously, it's a popular spot with bikers. They rent these little bikes out, and you can make a little convoy. People are all coming in. And here's the air pump I was telling you about. 
going up to the giant balloon. And this is on the site of the old sugar plantation. Pretty interesting, huh? Now when it's not crowded like this, it's really kind of cool, kind of quiet, and they have a very special park that's right ahead of us that we're not going to now, but it's very interesting, and they've got lots of different kinds of plants, and it's quite amazing. So here we are, amazing Taiwan.